Hi guys, this is Pi Productions 999 here, and today I'm going to be telling you a story. And it's a story about a Lego one by one see through light blue brick. So, once it was a brick, just this one like this. It was a really awesome brick. I loved it so much, I really wanted it. But you won't know who had it. My friend. So, I used to tell him, this brick is so awesome. You know, where did you get it? He said, I got it from a rare Lego set. It's really old. I got it from Poland. Or somewhere else like that. Anyway. It was an awesome brick. It was so special. I don't know how this kind of power. Well, not obviously a power. <laughs> but it, ha it, it had something. I really liked it so much. So. <laughs> it was at his house, obviously. So. He was there. And obviously me at his house. Right? And you won't guess what we're doing. Obviously playing Lego. What else were you thinking about? So, he had the brick always beside himself. Right? And I used to think, I, I obviously used to say, you know, that's an awesome brick, dude. You know. And then, you know, he would say, yeah, yeah, I know, it's really cool, isn't it? So, Obviously, I would say, you know, can I have it? And he wouldn't say no, but he obviously wouldn't say yes either. So, he always used to think, he, he always used to say, you know, change the subject. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, you know, what are you building? And then, you know, out of all the cool Lego bricks he had, guess what one was the best? Yep. This one. This one over here. So, I wanted it for many years. But he always used to, let's just say, but we always used to, oops, his pants just fell off. Anyways, we always used to play outside, I don't know, do some running, everything. But he would always have the brick, guess where? Obviously, beside him. So, I always really wanted the brick. But you know, he wouldn't let me. He wouldn't say anything. So one day, this was a really special day. I was in his house. Right? I was in his house. We were playing. And I was playing with some bricks. He was playing, making a bridge and everything. He had a brick beside himself. Obviously. Where are other plays? So, he said, Here, Paul. And I said, yeah, I actually start, well, I stopped playing Lego now, I start playing video games. So I thought, and I thought, then he said, so, Paul, do you want the Lego brick? Guess what I just did? I jumped up! I think I did a front flip, but no, it's only Lego. So, I was so happy that I have this Lego brick. I used to, you know, I don't know, I, I used to keep it in a safe place and everything. I'd be, whoa, thank you. And then, obviously, he stopped playing with Lego. So, he was going to computer games. So, he gave the brick to me and went away. And guess what I just did for the whole day? I just sat there looking at the Lego brick. Started to play with it and, you know. Really, it was, it was a really good moment in my life. I enjoyed it so much. And, you know, obviously, um, I really wanted to break for the whole time. And until now, until now, I still have it. It's my special little brick. Yep, my really best Lego brick. I always keep it in a safe place, either in my puzzle box, either I don't know where, in a little safe which I made out of Lego, anywhere. 
I would never lose this. It's my favorite Lego brick. So, if I if I was meant to lose it, I would I don't know how I would even survive without it. So, tell me what your favorite Lego brick was. Thanks for watching a story of mine. Off, go away. Yeah, there we go. Off, a Lego brick. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.